One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello, my name is Pete and I'm doing a field test with these mics today. Uh, the microphones I've got, if I can remember off the top of my head, I've got the Sanken CS1, Sanken CS3E, MKH 8060, the 416, and I also have an NTG2 thrown in just for fun. And I've got the, obviously, the uh, the blue mic, which is the CMIT 5U. Um, I hope I haven't messed any of those up. There's a lot to remember there. So the reason for this test is a personal one in the fact that I'm going to be purchasing maybe one or two of these microphones um, and I wanted to check out exactly how they sound and compare to one another out in the field on location as opposed to in a studio environment um, where I'm just listening to the actual tone and the quality and, and, and that of the microphone. So we're outside, over in that direction there is the motorway which is probably about half a mile away. So if Ed, yeah, if you wouldn't mind just panning over and give us a shot of the, uh, the motorway there just to give people an idea how far away we are. Now, you'll notice on the levels as well, I've also got them at the same apparent loudness to give you a, uh, a proper comparison rather than setting all the gains to zero um, because obviously out in the field you would raise the gain up to the appropriate level. So. All the levels are at the same apparent loudness um, and also I will do several things while I'm stood here um, but first of all I'm going to give you 30 seconds of me not talking so you can compare the different um, sideways noise rejection of these microphones with just the general atmosphere and the motorway noise over in the distance there um, but before I do that I do want to point out that from your angle it does look like these microphones are very sort of spaced apart and that they are probably not pointing in the right direction but i can assure you from where i am uh, and from the setups that we've done they are pointing at the uh, at the sweet spot and they're in the exact right position that uh, that we would like them in so i'm going to give you 30 seconds of me not talking at all right now Okay, so if you're using the recordings of just the audio there, then you can obviously flick between the actual audio files and compare the levels there. But you'll have noticed, um, I'll put a graphic in at this point, uh, that all of the levels should have been at different levels. I've done a little bit of playing around with these microphones and when I brought them into a session, um, an Adobe Audition, you could see an actual difference in the, uh, the noise levels there. Uh, and there's one or two that stand out really well. Uh, the CMIT being one of them, um, which I was hoping it wasn't going to be the case because that's a very expensive microphone. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be spending some money on that one. Um, so for now, I'm going to step off mic so you can get a, an idea of the coloration and, and just the signal losses there. So I'm going to step to the side now. So I'll continue talking. This will give you an idea of the reach of uh, some of these microphones. Um, I have thrown in different microphones in the mix here. So obviously the, the Sanken CS1 is a cardioid, so that should have a better reach from this sort of angle as opposed to one or two of the others. Um, and that should give you an idea. I'll, um, I'll step back in the middle. So back in the sweet spot there. Uh, and what I'll do now is I'm actually going to step backwards uh, but still projecting towards the microphones to give you uh, another idea from, from this kind of angle. So I'm a foot, well, I was one step back, um, probably a foot and a half away from the microphones now, so you should hear a difference in the reach between each different microphone there. I um, don't really know what else to say right now other than to just keep uh, blabbing away so you can compare the difference between each microphone. Um, what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to raise the stand and I'm going to lift the microphones up probably another foot uh, as obviously sometimes it, we're, in, we're in some situations whereby the, the, um, the uh, camera frame is much wider than we'd like it to be. So I'm going to do that roughly now. Oh, but bear in mind that all the audio files here I will put on the website um, and I'll put a link somewhere on the screen just here so you can go to the website you can download each individual file 
bring them into a session and have a, a, a real compare between each audio file yourself and each different microphone um, and those will be at 4824 uh, which is what we'd be recording in the standard anyhow um, rather than any of the higher sample rates uh, just thought it's the usual so we'll stick with that um, and so yeah back under the sweet spot just here we have some horses walking past and a little bit of noise a bit of chatter in the background so hopefully that'll give you an idea of, of some of the noise that's that's bleeding in from from that direction anyhow i'm gonna shut my mouth i'm gonna bring this up uh, and then we'll do the same again so i've raised the microphones uh, probably about a foot maybe a foot and a half so they're quite a distance there and the aim of this sort of uh, scenario is just to give an idea of the reach that each microphone has uh, and obviously the amount of noise that it's letting in and the signal to noise ratio now um, just for the sake of chatting away i want to just point out that i threw the ntg2 in the mix just because it's becoming quite a popular microphone now at the uh, at the entry level i know a lot of uh, new sound is uh, jumping onto this microphone and a lot of uh, cameramen as well sort of in the news industry uh, are buying the NTG2s um, so it'd be good to see just how this compares with the rest of the high-end mics uh, I've got the 8060 in there which is supposed to be the new 416 uh, and if I'm honest I've had a play around with the two of them and I think I prefer the 416 but um, after this test I'm looking forward to listening to that and just actually having a, a real compare between those two uh, the CMIT is obviously, um, it's, it's well known, it's, it's the blue mic, everyone knows it, it's obviously much more expensive than most of the other mics and um, and yeah, I, it, it does sound good, unfortunately if, uh, if you want better sound then you have to fork out I'm afraid. Uh, the DPA I haven't listened to so I'm looking forward to listening to that one. Uh, same with the CS3E, I uh, get a lot of good feedback uh, about the CS3E. Uh, so I'm looking forward to listening to that one. Uh, what other microphones have I got there? Uh, and then the Sankin CS1, which is my microphone. Uh, it's a personal one which I used for interiors. Um, I've been told by several other soundies that it's also a good microphone for exteriors as well. Uh, obviously, depending on scenarios and things like that, probably not ideal for the situation I'm in right now. So I'm just going to take a step back and we'll just have a listen to the reach there. Um, just to give you an idea of, again, just the uh, the chloration or the, well, the, the lack of um, frequencies that are, are reaching the microphone when they're off access like this. Um, and while I'm stood here, I'm going to give you another 30 seconds of silence, um, just so you've got a, a, another reference point, uh, probably identical to the last one to be honest, but we'll give it another 30 seconds of silence and we'll quickly flick between each microphone so you can hear the different levels in uh, in atmospheric uh, noise Now, I've actually got my uh, sound devices 664 on the floor here and as I'm talking, the levels are pretty much bang on, they're all at the same apparent loudness but during that silence there I can see the levels are completely up and down all over the place uh, I'll show you a quick shot of that, they're, uh, it's quite dramatic to be honest so again looking forward to getting this back into a session uh, over on the computer and, uh, and checking out exactly how these things sound and um, just what's going on uh, with each microphone so I hope this um, comparison has been helpful for you I uh, just want to add that all these microphones well nearly all of these microphones have been provided by Studio Care so thanks to Studio Care for, for lending me these microphones um, and I will also be doing an interior version of this with um, a couple of these microphones plus a couple of interior microphones so we can have a, a real good comparison as to how the two compare to each other, how they react with reflections indoors and just see which one's the better one basically uh, and hopefully help you guys as I hope this helps me decide which microphones uh, I'm going to be buying in the future.